who would win in Trump Hillary election today. All the latest polls. If you listen to the mainstream media, the average American voter is prepared to storm the White House with the pitchfork to remove President Donald Trump. While that hyperbolic innuendo apparently makes a ton of sense in editorial meetings for these mainstream outlets, it's quite detached from reality. The press is still struggling with something that it was unable to wrap its collective head around in the run-up to the election. Trump is popular, and his message resonates with a ton of American voters. The Daily Wire shares some of the latest evidence on that. Civitas conducted the poll August 7th and 8th, surveying 400 registered, likely, and unaffiliated voters. Their participants were asked. If you had a chance to do it all over again, for whom would you vote for president between Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and Gary Johnson? The poll found that 43% would vote for Donald Trump while Hillary Clinton only won 39%. Third-party Libertarian Party candidate Gary Johnson won 9% while the other 9% refused to answer or were unsure. Wait a second. What about all those polls that show that Trump's approval rating is plummeting and voters want him out? As we all learned last year, except for the press, that is, polls are only as good as the data that's collected. If you have a poll that's heavily skewed towards including voters of a specific political ideology, the results are going to come out heavily skewed. Absent in the vast majority of polls is the actual political affiliation breakdown of poll respondents. Typically, those numbers are included in the fine print. It's apparently too challenging for the mainstream press to take a look at them. Civitas President Colonel Francis De Luca explained. This result appears to illustrate two things, that Trump voters are sticking with him, and that elections are binary. Despite Donald Trump's perceived unpopularity, when compared to another actual candidate, he remains ahead. The shocking thing is that unaffiliated voters tipped the scale in Trump's favor. For weeks, the media has been parroting the Democrats' talking point that Trump's base is weakening. Instead, the opposite seems to be happening. His base only seems to grow stronger as the left continues their relentless attacks on the Republican president. Democratic leaders and their cronies in the press remain remarkably oblivious to a pretty simple lesson offered up by last year's election results. Just because you constantly say something, it doesn't make it true. During the run-up to the election, the narrative presented was that Clinton was going to crush Trump. Do you remember the ridiculous story put forth that said Texas was in play? How'd that work out for Democrats? We can only assume that Democrats were and remain convinced that the results of heavily slanted polls tell them all they need to know. The press then attempts to beat people over the head with that information to sway them to join the herd. Voters are intelligent enough to see through the nonsense, and they're more than capable of making their own choices. That was readily apparent last November, and it remains critical.